Hi and welcome to DCS Digital Combat Simulator. We're using the Toby Eye Tracker 5 and a 4090 graphics card. We're just going to jump in and we're going to put on some JSAR. So we're going under missiles and we've got the AGM-154C. We're going to put two of those on board. Get rid of the center pylon. And make sure that we've got the ATFLIR. Click OK. Get rid of the wheel chocks. Close the canopy and jump inside. Let's get the plane started. So we'll turn on the O-Bogs. So we're using the Toby here just to look around. So we're going to turn up those two. Going up to here for the day, onto the day. Turn this all the way up. Turn that all the way up. Get rid of the joystick. Turn this all the way around. Hit the power button. Arm that. Go down to here. Hit the FLIR button. Turn it to operational. Turn it to on IFA. Turn up just those two. And then put on the battery. Go over here. APU and right engine crank. Uh, that's most of the things for the moment. That's good. We can uncage this. And we can also move the wings all the way around and then lock it in place. We can set the bingo. And we can put the timer on. So we're just waiting for this plane to start up now. Then we can do the bleed air and so forth. We can take the parking brake off because the thing is all the way back. We can release the two throttles. And go up to here. Turn on the arm mode. We can't quite do that yet. And now we can swap it to the other engine. On the left side. Yeah, just looking around my eyes only. So that's how far back I can look with my eyes to the left. And then that's how far I can look back with my eyes to the right. So pretty far. If I turn my head, then obviously I can do that last little bit. Now go to wings. Get that started. The time is happening. And the flare is already on, so that's not a problem. FCS. Turn around the bleed air. In out. And then over to here for the rudder trim. Hit the reset button. Right control and full stop. And get the number 215 or so. That's all good. We can go down to here, select waypoint 1. And we'll get the plane moving. So we'll just give the plane a little bit of throttle head towards the catapult looks pretty okay Bring the throttle back and we'll just change this to extend. We'll go up to here. Target of opportunity and then step. And then target of opportunity. That's all done. This is set up. We can it's in there to ground mode, so we can just put it into flow. You can release this, but I just don't wanna have that beeping at me. So that's okay. So just waiting for a couple of things. One for this timer, and also if this could complete two, that'd be great. Just count it down 69. And then this timer. It's complete in eight seconds. Okay. 
So we can move ourselves forward. Hit the afterburner detent. They've locked us in, so we're ready to go overboard. And we've just given ourselves a bit more time for the in-flight alignment to complete if we can. Let's see how that goes. Looking pretty good, the ship at the moment. And we're jumping into the cockpit again. I'm just gonna see how that, that is gone. 52 at the moment. 50. Very well. All right, let's give ourselves full throttle. I'll give them the salute command. They're going to get ready. Gear and then flaps. Gear's coming up. Go down to here, work and designate. It's got a target. Sensor select switch to the right and then deep press. And we can see it if we go into here. We've got some target information. Move ourselves over towards it. We just need altitude at the moment. So let's keep gaining altitude. We're in range. Let's see how that goes. Hit that target dead on. So we'll head out this way. 
I'm just going to change this to number two. And fly away a little bit. We're only four away at the moment, but we're relatively high. So that's good. How's the alignment going down here? Almost finished. Change the scale. Nine point two out. If uses instant target of opportunity. We'll spin it around. Let's try and get ourselves wings level a little bit because we've got to use that um, tune button because we've dropped one bomb, so we're a little bit uneven at the moment. Beautiful, and so we're going to go down to here, just check what is going on. Selected it. We're in range. Seven point six. Let's try and keep ourselves level with the trim button. Let's see how this one goes. can turn this off because we have no other weapons on board at the moment It's important we hit the right target as well. And we destroyed it, and we've hit the target. So we've got both of them there. It's not too bad coming back to this plane. So we've managed to get both targets with the JSAs. Whatever we did was something close to correct. Enough to hit targets anyway. Just want to set up our attack cam so we can do our landing uh, for and enter and then ILS on for and enter cool and just down here I just want to box it all that's done put down the hook and we can turn the flare off
Change this to HSI or something. That will do. I know to carry it a little bit more to the right, but I just want to come up behind it, that's all. Let's see if we can do a carry landing. I said a little bit straighter in my seat, so that's why we're moving around. But that's a bit better. Just so I can reach the joystick, I think it was necessary for me to do that. And the throttle at the same time. So some things I need to do, I need to drop altitude now. We're in idle throttle. I might push B on the keyboard just to bring the air brake out. Just to help me a little bit. I keep working out that trim because it's not quite right yet. 180 frames per second at the moment with the 4090. We'll put our flaps down. A little bit early for that, but still. That's where we're hoping to land in a few moments, down below me there, I think. Quickly talk to the ATC. Just a little bit too speed. I can burn a bit of that off, but looks like we're okay now. Put the gear down. Yep. And there's the ship. We need to turn right at it now. A 
The line come back to me. The hook is down. And we're just on speed, but the whole part is that it doesn't fall apart at the end of the alignment. We're a little bit low. That will do. I really just wanted to land it then. So we've got a one wire. And we get ourselves off the deck. And I put the parking brake on. And uh, put the throttle back. Put both my throttles back. Turn off the battery and open the canopy. That's a very quick shutdown, of course. But, um, there we go. That was with the 4090, Toby Eye Tracker 5, and we're in the F18C at DCS using the AGM 154C. Thank you for watching.